I'm just going to, I'll go over like a little question Kyle had about, you know, what if the head gets out or how come I feel like I'm losing the head. Uh, so I think the detail there would be getting up to the elbow, right? So let me have your back crucifix. So if I just have the crucifix, just in case we're, if I'm just here like this, even for my back series, you'll see me do this kind of stuff. I just like to bug, bug the neck because I have the lapel and it puts pressure on the guy. Same thing from here. If I just wanted to enter in from it because I cut, hit this arm, I'm kind of isolated. This arm's isolated. It's hard for him to defend. He tucks his chin. It's easy for me to come under his chin and find that lapel and already start putting pressure on him here. But if I, when he starts to escape, if I try to mount here, my leg is just light. It's easy for him to clear, right? And not only that, when I do this, I start giving him room to get his head out. You can see when I move like this, there's a little window. So instead of that, I'm gonna let him off, but I'm gonna build up to my elbow. And I keep his shoulder kind of tight for now, and I make sure this is snug. I don't want his, uh, his head to be on the ground. Now at this point, I don't care if he, which way he rolled because I have his neck. I kind of own his shoulder. You can see the shoulder control. He tries to go to his right, I stop him. So what happens when people get resistance? They're like, ah, no, I really want to go. So, no, that's okay. Because when he's busy trying to move, that's the best time for me to pass my leg. The same token, like, if I'm built up here like this and he decides to go the other way, I just pass. I can strangle here or I could just go boom. You know, take some more basic approach. Just whenever you have the lapel, you can just manipulate and, and challenge, the, challenge everything that way. So I think the factor if you're losing the head is getting to your elbow. And when I build up, it's kind of like this movement here. I go, I got the control, boom. And by the way, I wasn't even going to show this move. Joey reminded me of it. She's like, oh, what about the collar? Like, oh, man, the collar's best. So this, this is Joey's move. Just, I'm just a, just a, what do you call it? Messenger. So I go here like this when I feel like I'm losing it. I just get up to my elbow, but I still, I'm on my elbow, but I'm also controlling the shoulder. And then my legs are just kind of like this. I'm holding and waiting. May, remember, timing is everything, guys. At the wrong time, he wants, he, he might see my leg coming like, ah. So don't do it then. Do it when the person's on the bottom, busy with their feet are busy moving or moving. This is the time for me to mount. And if the hands are waiting to trap your leg, then put the pressure on the neck. Because with the pressures on the neck, then the hands forget about the leg and they defend the neck. Understand? Yes. If, we want, if we want to take somebody's like, thought, pro thoughts away from one part of the body, we got to bug the other one. So they go, oh, I don't like that. I'm going to quit worrying about this and go over here. And that's just pushing the right buttons, basically. Okay? Uh, now, Joey, please. So, we can go right to a crucifix and work on kind of getting into it right from here, where you have the lapel. And by the way, um, the way I've been, I told you guys yesterday in the Nogi class, I've been getting pretty successful with a couple things from here. And one of them is this chin strap, like one arm guillotine. And when I go here for the collar here like that, he starts using that to kind of defend and take the collar away. And it's like, ah, I, don't, I can't really get it. But what I can do is get the chin. So I'm just controlling the chin and keeping the, like, his, his, the back of his head pulled into my hip here a little bit. And I'm prepped and I'm kind of up. I'm ready to go. And I don't care if I have this arm or not. If he gets the arm out, this is fine. But I got to control his chin. And keeping pressure on his chin this way, like that, towards that way, keeps him from rolling that way. If I pull his chin, I might pull him in that direction. So I want to kind of like control the chin, but lock him in place that way so he can't roll out. Right? You can feel that, right? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, if he tries to go to his knees here and I'm not ready, then I got to pull the opposite direction. So I'm, going, I'm kind of throttling the, the chin to make sure I have that control. I'm on my elbow, my legs are prepped, and now I'm just going to like pass my leg over and there. It's just controlling the chin and compressing. Arm and guillotine, all of those, those uh, finishes from there, it's very common that we just compress the head like this as opposed to stretching and extending, okay? So let's go one more time. Uh, we'll go, maybe we'll go from the top. 
Let's go from the top without the lapels now. We just kind of have this position here. I slide in, because remember, I had the lapel control last time. Now I just have this choke, but he's opening to finish. I release, control the hand here or the shoulder, either one. But now I don't want him going that way. See how he, if he goes belly back to the floor and escapes this way and jumps the leg, I'm gonna have to transition to the mount. This is great, guys. We move up to the gift wrap and you guys remember the gift bag? Dave does. He likes that one. So here's a good time to go right to that or just go up, be in you know nice dominant position. But I'm gonna try to keep that from happening. When I control the shoulder and I make this up, or if I can't reach his leg, I hook the hip. I gotta kind of find the hip bone. My, I'm live toes with my right foot. I'm pulling on the shoulder and I'm bringing my knee to the ceiling, giving him a bigger bump to jump over. If I lay flat, he's out. So I gotta post my feet, I gotta pull the hook, and my knee goes to the floor, and then I start to kind of advance my foot outward, like this. The same time I do that, I'm gonna go ah, back, that's great. I'm gonna let him out, grab the chin, and start looking for the, for the arm. That's all I want. And I don't care what he does at this point, because I feel like now he's kind of in my web. <clears throat> but I'm gonna let him off the hook. He feels like he can get out. He starts to get out, I build up, and control. Partner on the bottom, you're just gonna kind of be bladed. See how Joey's got a little wedge here like this? Get the movement before you start looking at it. All the like, yeah, but what if, and what if, and what if he does this, and what if he does that? None of that matters if you don't know the move. So let's just get the move down before we start talking about kind of dealing with all the things that come up. So hold tight, and remember, we're steering the chin, and I'm just gonna go up and bring my heel right over. From here, I'll let up on the chip choke a little bit. I wanna build up to my hand if I can, and just compress. And the pr pressure of the choke is just kind of posturing back. And this is this. <coughs> so it's just chin strap control. Anybody ever see my fight with Scott Jorgensen? Was it? <laughs> well, there was this moment where like, and again, bad, like moments where I just like, oh, life would have been so different. But I had him in the double chin strap choke like this. I knew he liked that choke. He's put a lot of guys out with that. And I caught him here like this. And I started to apply it, but then he rolled like this. And I held on and I held on and held on. And then he went here. And you know, I like tried to follow him and he shut my head down. He won this position. And then we had to build back up. So Committing both of my hands make me roll my shoulder. And instead, if I'm here like this and I feel the guy kind of go here like this, I switch to one hand and let go. It's a little bit of a timing race, but it's there. You know, it's definitely there. Or I can maybe catch the crucifix out of it when I feel him start to roll here like this. I go like this, and catch the arm, right? And you control the shoulder here, just shut him down and then go back to it. But I, I feel like it's a nice entrance into a segue, I should say, into positions that I'm being successful with at the moment. Okay? Lots of good stuff. Chin, stra chin strap uh, from the crucifix. Start from the head and arm control. Get the guy's arms across. Remember, he learned his lesson reaching for the leg. Now he's protecting his neck. That's good. We're going to control the arm by bringing the knee across and put him here. He's going to open his shoulder and give the back to defend. And now we're in that crucifix uh, setup that we talked about. All right? Let's do it, guys.